Good morning, everybody. I'm going on day seven, no injuries, but it is only 10 o'clock in the morning, so I do have ample time to hurt myself. But kind of feeling a little funky today. I may have overdone it this weekend after being in bed for so long and getting up and doing so much this past weekend, but I very, very much enjoyed everything I did. Even cleaning my room, I enjoyed it. I know that sounds weird, but I did. And cooking dinner, I loved doing that last night. But I'm going to try and take it easy today. We'll see. If I get a little burst of energy or I feel a little bit better, I might try and clean my bathroom at least. But right now, I'm going to sit down and eat some breakfast and watch a little bit of TV. And, and we'll see where I go from there. But catch you all a little later. So here's what I did for dinner. I just got some chicken tenderloins and some frozen mixed vegetables and I put some organic chicken broth, sodium free on there and some lemon pepper on there and I'll probably add some mushrooms, ugh, some mushrooms and onions a little later and then all I have to do is put it in the oven and bake it. So guys, I'm still being kind of lazy. I watched the season premiere of Bones that we recorded. Very, very good. Very sad, but very good. And now I'm watching some Roswell. Thanks, Kimmy. And I got dinner put together for tonight. To, so later on I just have to pop it in the oven so we have something to eat. So. I'll show you what I did. And I wanted to show you some of our little babies, what they're all doing. Here's Miss Bootsy. She blends in on the black tablecloth. It's our Halloween tablecloth. But we're going to do something different when we decorate for Halloween. But I can't show you guys because I don't want you to see any of the decorations. Until it's time for the Halloween vlog. And here's Mr. Boomer, of course. I'm showing Bootsy attention, and Mr. Boomer has to jump right up on the table there and get some attention, too. Ha, huh, Booms. Yes. Okay, and uh, I put Boomer's box back down. It was standing up, and cats love boxes, so we got something. I don't even remember. Oh, my, my scooter, my knee, knee scooter thingy came in this box, so we've been leaving it here for Boomer to play with. And I wanted to show you guys our mantle. We moved in here and there was no fireplace mantle, so we were moved in and we were going to have a Halloween party, so Kevin made this mantle. And this is just styrofoam. The three pieces here, that one over there and this one in the middle, are just styrofoam and then the top and, and this is wood. Um, and since we didn't have a mantle, I just had Kevin leave it up. Kind of fits our decor anyway, but can't wait to get the drum set put away so we can decorate in here. And that's about all it so far. I can't, I don't want to show you anything we got so far for Halloween. We got to put all that stuff away. And we haven't seen Nikki and John yet. Still have their gifts here. I have one other thing I got them. So I probably will take that in the bedroom and wrap that here in a I few minutes. I don't want you guys but. to see any of the Halloween stuff that we bought while we were shopping the other day. Um, or any of the other stuff because you guys have never seen one of our Halloween parties and I want to wait for you guys to see it in the Halloween vlog. So it's going to be exciting. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So I am going to go wrap that and probably watch some more Roswell. Just going to kick back today. Did a lot the past two days. Tomorrow I'll get back up and do some more cleaning. I think that's what I'm going to do. Sound good? Catch y'all later. Okay, so here's the last box all wrapped. I'm going to see if I can uh, tape it on here or something. There. It's not the most attractive way to attach it, but it's attached. All together. Let's kind of stick the card right there. There we go. 
one big package for the baby. Now we just got to see Nikki and John. And here's Freckles sitting on the stairs. He started barking. So I thought he had to go outside. But now he was barking because he heard somebody outside, but there's nobody there. And of course, Boomer has to come when he hears me talking to any of the other animals. Right, Boomster? Right, Boom Master? You're the Boom Master. Hello, my sexy, sexy husband. Hey, sweetie. Welcome home. Dinner ready? I have to check. Okay. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Now let me check. <laughs> I have to put my bazinga on. Uh, okay. I told everybody I thought I was going to add onions and mushrooms to it. Well, I didn't end up doing that just because I was being too lazy today to do anything. So. Looks yummy. Let's cut some of the chicken open and see. I don't even know if I have any clean knives. Everything's in the dishwasher. Don't look. It's dirty. There might be a knife in the drawer. I don't think there is. There's not. Don't look. Don't look? Look that way for a minute. Uh, okay. You don't want to see the dirty dishes? Yes, dear. Okay. Now i got to wash these real quick. Don't trip over the cat. Is the cat like under my feet? Yep, he's a roadblock. You're gonna park right in front of the stove, aren't you, cat? Is there some sort of protest? Okay, washed a knife and a fork. Mm -hmm. So now I can cut the chicken and see if the chicken's ready. Yes. Make sure the vegetables are soft. Soft? Soft. Okay. Here's my New York accent came out. Well, they're not the vegetables. Oh no, the chicken is still, this one is still not even. All right, that. well, put it back in. And that one, yeah. No, it's dinner's not ready yet. Okay. Mr. Poopy and Piss Cleaner Upper, because <laughs> we have incontinent animals, apparently. Um, dinner's ready. Well, dinner was tasty. Although you didn't eat any of the vegetables. So? Gotta eat your veggies! Dog liked them. <laughs> I'd like to sit down, but Boomer won't let me. <clears throat> so... Val cooked again, again, today. Uh, again, tasty. again? That's what I said. Yes, I did cook again. Two days in a row. Seven days without injury. Yeah! Ah! Seven days, baby! No injuries! Yay! And I did cook dinner again today. And I'm going to make turkey tacos tomorrow night. And I'm even going to try and do a little bit of cleaning tomorrow. I know I said that today and I didn't do any, but oh well. Excuse me, mister. But why are you climbing on my lap? Because I'm not paying any attention to it. <laughs> He's not impressed. <laughs> kind of looks familiar, but it smells funny. Oh, wow. Meow. That's his job. He's not impressed. Oh. Now you're going to upset him. Yeah, I don't understand it either. And I'm married to him. <laughs> I 
think they see that. Can everybody tell I like cats? I like looking and acting like cats, too. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. 1010 wants us to tell everybody how we met. We really, really, really have been telling everybody that we are going to do a Q&A. One of these days. And we really want to do it. It's just so hard to schedule something with Megan's school and work schedule. And now with Halloween and, and everything that we do in October, because it's our, our anniversary is in October. We got married on October 22nd in 2005. And we go to Not Scary Farm for our anniversary. That's where we went for our honeymoon. And we go there every year for our anniversary. So We're not strained. <laughs> so it, it's just so much is going on in October um, that we're going to do a Q&A in November. We will figure out, we'll sit down with Megan as soon as we possibly can and set an actual Q&A date and let you guys know in November and we will do a Q&A and that is when you can ask us all the questions you want. We will answer the questions we wish to answer or we want to answer. We reserve the right to answer or not answer. <laughs> um, but we will let you guys know when that is going to happen. But I do want to know what is a Draw My Life vlog. I've never heard of that. So, uh, hello there, 1010. If you can let me know what that is, I'll let you know about that. Um, Strong Passion, 212, and Daryl Roper, and anybody else out there, yay, day number seven without any gravity checks or any injuries. Woohoo! See the sign? Can you see it over his big old body here? Seven days, no injuries, no gravity checks. Woohoo! And I cooked dinner again tonight. I didn't do any cleaning today. I was lazy today. But it was a busy weekend for me after being laying in bed for months and months and months. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm manic right now. Sorry, guys. After laying in bed for, for weeks and weeks and weeks, you know, it, I, I did a lot over this past weekend. So I just kind of needed a day just to... And so now I'll get up tomorrow and I'm cleaning everything. Um, sweetheart, 81067. Yes, I will do more cooking in my vlogs, but it's not going to be a featured cooking channel because I am by no means a chef. If you want to see some cooking channels or see a cooking channel with some awesome chefs on it, check out Meet the Presleys. There is a couple of chefs. Their recipes, oh my God, are to die for. You will get awesome recipes there, main dishes, desserts, everything. Go check out Meet the Presleys. They are awesome chefs. And on one of the vlogs, I don't remember which one, we were talking about what Kevin does to me in the desert. And the only person who answered that was Katie Caroline. And he, it was that we talked way back that he was going to bury me in the desert. And Katie was going to come. I did not. <laughs> and Katie was going to come to my rescue. <laughs> we, we go camping. <laughs> and she, she commented on my right. vlog. Okay, Mom, can I go to the California desert to rest to save a YouTuber? <laughs> I could just imagine how that conversation would have went with her mother. <laughs> So, thank you, Katie, though, because you would have come and saved me, and I really love you for that. Hey, I've taken you to the desert two or three times, and you came back every time. It was close, though, guys. Really close. That's when she could really run. She could catch up with me. Can't run now. So. Okay, so that leaves us to time for... Every night around this time, you should be ready for it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Maybe we should get you little kitty cat earplugs. <laughs> anyway, thank you all. We would not be here if it weren't for each and every one of you. You are all part of our neighborhood community. We love you. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow.